There are many ways to help spruce up your work and add details to your projects inside of After Effects. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at adding light stroke animations that can be used to you know, reveal on your graphics or just to help take them to the next level. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel, Sunduck Film. Please be sure to drop a like on this video. It helps us out tremendously. And we will need a free plug in this video, which of course is Saber, which you can find for free in the link in the description below. But let's jump in and let's get started. All right, so here we are in After Effects and to create some really cool light strokes, the first thing we're gonna want to do is go to layer new solid call it light and then we'll go to effect video copilot and we'll grab saber this is a free effect the link will be in the description so you can get this installed so first thing we want to do is go to our effects controls we'll see the effect so right off the bat we have this preset here however you can't see anything below this layer so what you could do is you could change the blend mode to screen or you can go to render settings and you can set the composite settings to transparent so you have one of those two options to work with so the first thing I want to do is just get this animated so then we can work with this. So to get this animated, what we're going to do is come here to customize core. What we're going to do is we're going to come here and add a keyframe for start offset. We'll hit U on keyboard, bring up those keyframes, and we bring that keyframe forward in time, maybe to like, I don't know, a second or so. And then we'll bring down the start offset to 100%. So this will be animated in like so. Then right at this last keyframe here, we'll add a keyframe for end offsets. We'll move forward maybe by another second or so, and we'll set this down to 0%. This way the line will animate out. And we select our keyframes, hit F9 on our keyboard, and make them easy, easy keyframes. We come here to our graph editor, and we can just grab these keyframes and drag out the handles to help customize the animation a little bit. So now we have this animation here like so, and I think that looks really clean, but now we need to talk about creating our own shape and using this in a unique way where you know it makes sense. So there's a number of ways that we can move this around and customize it. So first of all, you can grab the effect and you come here to core start and end and you see these anchor points here. You can move these randomly around your composition. Maybe we can do a straight line like so and I can copy that Y value and paste it there into the end so then we know that's a straight line. But I don't like using this. So what I'm gonna do is come here and grab the pen tool here at the top and I'm gonna click a point, hold down shift and click another point across. So we'll have a perfect straight line. And then go to the core type, set it from saber to layer mask. And you know, now we're gonna have a straight line and it's gonna be exactly where we put it. Now there's a couple of things I do wanna adjust here to make this look even better. So we come into preset, uh, we can set this down to say wide, which is here at the bottom. And there's a lot of cool presets that you should definitely sw uh, switch through. And automatically I do like that a little bit better, but there's a few other settings here that I would like us to take a look at. So for example, maybe the end size can come down to maybe 50% and that'll make the back end of the line a little bit thinner. Uh, and I think that looks good. We can also come here to the start roundness, increase that up to two and I'll instead of it being a straight hard edge, it'll be more of a rounded edge. And, and I think that looks great. So now we're really starting to customize this. We come here to flicker. We can increase the flicker intensity up and maybe bring down the flicker speed this way it'll be you know, flicking, right? So now just with this customized line, this already looks really cool just having this one line in here. Now, another technique that we could employ on this is we can take our layer, we can duplicate it, go to edit, duplicate, and we can just kind of offset it here. And now we'll have it going in there twice. And I think that's really cool to have that extra, you know, glow line right there. And then what we can do is we can taste layer, we can duplicate it again. And instead of having one at the top, we can just grab our mask by hitting MR keyboard, grab that mask path and we can just bring this line down. And then I can quickly just duplicate this, move it across. And if we want, we come here to layer, transform, and grab a flip horizontal. So now we'll have this animation here and I think that looks really, really cool. And quickly, before we move on, if you're looking to create awesome motion graphics that stand out within a click of a button, check out our 150 plus template pulse pack for After Effects. With our easy to use Atom X extension, all you have to do is find a graphic that you like and hit apply. Once it's on the timeline, you can easily customize colors and other parameters to fit your needs. You can check out the Pulse Pack and all the other packs we have off our website, sunduckfilm.com if you're looking to save time and produce awesome work. The link is in the description below. All right, so now that we have this effect completely set up, I wanna talk about how easy it is to create your own custom shape without having to change really any settings. So if we wanna create, say, a box around our title with this same effect, what we can do is just go back into that mask. We can just delete it. We can come here, grab the rectangle tool here at the top, and as soon as we draw, draw out this rectangle, it's automatically gonna take the form of this box. So maybe we wanna refine some settings because I don't want this line to be so long. So what I'm gonna do is grab my two end keyframes here, and I'm gonna go ahead and bring these in like this, so then we can take this keyframe and stretch them out, and then I'll take my end keyframes again, and then 
go ahead and move those over. So what's gonna happen is this line will not be as long and it just took us a quick second to perfectly fix those keyframes. So then as before, we can take these layers, we can duplicate it, offset it in our timeline by a little bit. So now we have these repeated lines around our title or logo, whatever you're working with. All right, so for our last technique, I want to talk about how we can take this saber stroke effect and turn it into a nice little background here uh, with some customized strokes. So we'll start from scratch. We just have the saber effect in here. The first thing we'll do is we'll come here, grab the ellipse tool, and from the center of our composition, we're gonna draw a perfect circle, hold down shift and control on your keyboard and this will be the mask of our stroke. So then we'll come here to customize core and we'll set this to layer mask. So the first thing we're gonna do is we'll come here to end size, we'll set this to 25% and then we'll come here to the end offset and set this like 55%, something like that. And we'll have this half stroke circle like so, it's a little bit smaller, it looks good. We'll set our end roundness to two and our start roundness to two as well. And to animate this, all we're gonna do is Alt click stopwatch for mask evolution and type in time asterisk negative 40. So our line will always be animating and that's pretty cool. So this time around we'll go to distortion and we'll set our distortion amount under glow distortion to five. And then you can change distortion type to whatever you'd like to use. So I'm gonna use energy and that's gonna help break up that glow a little bit. It's gonna customize it and that's cool. So now we can duplicate this control D and we hit M to bring up the mask. And this time around, all we're gonna do is hit control T on, on our keyboard to bring up the mask. And we're gonna hold down control and shift to make this a little bit bigger, but hold it from the center. And we can change the rotation by hovering over the side. And then of course, make sure you set your blend mode to at least screen on this top one. And now we can see through and see the other one as well. And we can change our color here to whatever color we'd like to use, or we can use the same color. And that's pretty cool. And to make this line smaller, we can come here to end offset and maybe set this down to 25%. And by lowering that number, it'll make the line smaller. So now you have the opportunity to take this and duplicate it a bunch of times and create your own custom look. So by duplicating a bunch of these, you can create a really cool background with these light strokes. There's so many different ways to use the saber effect to create these light stroke animations to help you spruce up your work. So be sure to experiment with what works best for your projects. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We post multiple post-production tutorials every single week. You can also download our free After Effects templates. Those links are below and always be creative.